Welcome to My Conversation, a presentation of KAIL-TV, My Central Valley. Your host today is Austin Reed. So let's get My Conversation started. And good Thursday morning. Welcome to My Conversation right here on KAIL-TV, My Central Valley. I'm Austin Reed. Thank you as always for joining us weekdays from 10 to 10.30 right after Access Hollywood Live here on KAIL. I hope you're having a good morning so far. We have a packed show and a really exciting show. So coming up, we're going to be talking with an author, a, a nationwide well-renowned author. She actually drove from Los Angeles to be with us today. Her name is Shannon Collery, and she is here again from Los Angeles. She's got a couple books. We're going to talk about that coming up in just a bit. Also, Vince Cortez and Christian from Dope Barber Shop here in Central California. They're here today to talk hair. Last but not least, Sandy from the Exeter Chamber of Commerce talking about some of her fun events coming up as we're now in March and then into April. Hey, I do want to give everybody just a quick disclaimer. My first guest, just so everybody knows, we're going to have some adult talk. So if, if you have some kids, maybe you want to just uh, put them in the other room for a little while. Let's have some adult talk. My studio audience, give it up for Shannon Collieri. Collieri. I said it right at the beginning. Collieri. Shannon Collieri. And she's a private coach. She's an author. We were talking before the show. Man, you've yes. had a, you've done a lot. You've done I've a been lot. very, very, very busy. Yes. Good yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's funny. My parents met at Cal State Fresno, so I was so happy to be up here to see my origins, right? where I began. Yeah. Yes. Fresno is a beautiful area. Yes, it is. As beautiful. is Los Angeles, but yes. it's a little more quiet here, huh? Uh, yeah, I was able to drive around a little bit more easily without having too many, you know, panic attacks. Exactly, yeah, was, exactly. <laughs> well, so. okay, so we have a lot to talk about. Yes, um, yes. Now, like like I was saying in the beginning of the show, you drove here from Los Angeles. I did. And you've got, go, go into your background. I absolutely will. Um, well, I'm sort of here this spring season to help women predominantly, but it is not a gender-specific topic, but to help men and women sort of spring clean their love lives and get rid of the, rid of the weeds, the people that are sort of bringing them down. So um, my background is that I've written for Huffington Post for many years now as one of their relationship authors. I publish frequently in HuffPost GPS for the Soul and Healthy Living. And recently for Your Tango, I'm one of their relationship experts. And I've also been in the Oprah magazine. That's and I was right. able to write for them about married sex and huh. how to keep it percolating. <laughs> keep it keep it going keep absolutely it going and so happy. once it's you important. get rid of the uh my, my the title of my book is she dated the asshats but married the good guy she dated the asshats yes but, but married, married the, the good, good guy. guy how to go from toxic love to real love in 12 exercises and i know the guys from dope are all good guys yeah, so ladies that's right they're, they're in coming the, on in soon okay audience. they're really cute <laughs> All right, and nice tattoos. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. So long story short, um, yeah, I'm promoting my book right now. I'm sort of driving around the country, and my hope is really to be of service because a lot of times men and women don't know when they're actually in an unhealthy relationship. They may not have had role models that demonstrated what it means to be in a kind, loving, supportive relationship that's a platform for your life moving forward successfully. Now, you've also been on the Today Show. You've been on yes. Fox News. Yes. I mean, you've been all over the place. I have been around. <laughs> so so your, your, your book, when did you, how, how long did it take you to write this? It actually only took about a year because I took a lot of the articles I've been working on for magazines and, and for the Huffington Post, and I, I thought, you know, I'm a 12-step practitioner, so I'm someone who very much believes in recovery from addiction mm -hmm. um, sure. and and that can be a love addiction addiction to toxic people um, they I have say a, love is a drug <laughs> it can be a drug mm -hmm. it definitely can be so um, I took a lot of those articles in just my own experience um, I definitely I, w I was raised by uh, uh, parents who loved me very much but had a very chaotic marriage and and there were actually many divorces oh. so I was heading down that same pass path in my 20s and for me, getting into 12-step recovery changed my life. I got rid of toxic relationships, and I've been married now to, for 16 years to just the love of my life and my best friend. And you've also got two kids. And I have two me. daughters that yeah. are 12 and 14. And what's so wonderful is we're able to raise them in a very uh, grounded, loving, healthy home. We have our issues. Don't get me wrong. They're teenagers. So <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. But, um, but, but it's a stable environment. 
And that makes all the difference. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, now, how did you come up with the name? <laughs> she dated the hashtag asshats, but married hashtag. the good guy. It actually trends frequently. I, I bet it on does. On hashtagify. <laughs> um, well, you know, here's the thing. I wanted to have a sense of humor about it because... I was an asshat once. There is definitely a man out there somewhere that's like, what is she talking about? She was not a very good girlfriend to uh -huh. me. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, but I, I, So I wanted to take sort of a light approach. Um, I think it's more accessible in that way. It's not so heavy. Um, and it's uh, you just somebody who wears their ass on their head like a hat. It doesn't treat you very well. So and it goes both ways. Absolutely. Men, women, women to men. I know. It, recently, men, men, I was women, I women. was talking to Clinton down in San Diego, living, and and you know I have this sort of list of types of people you need to keep an eye out for, mm -hmm. and one of them he really related to, which is the um, caution, caution, proceed at your own risk person. And he said, yeah, he used to date women that were always like the broken, with the bird with the broken wing, and he would nurture them and take care of them, and then they'd fly off to another guy, you know? So, so yeah, one of, when you're out in the dating theater, sort of like the war theater, right? Mm -hmm. It's the dating theater. Mm -hmm. You want to keep an eye out for someone who warns you right away, you know, I'm trouble. And, and for a lot of times for women, or I can speak for myself, that was so exciting. It was like, oh, I can fix you. I can love you back to health, you know? And because I was raised in a home where I, I was kind of a parent to one of my parents, mm -hmm. it was a very familiar, familiar ro role for me to play. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, so you've also um, yes. spring cleaning tips. Yes. Because, you know, on, on top of you being an author, you're a life coach, r yes, right? Yes, I am. I do and, coach privately, yes. Okay. So, yes. so spring cleaning tips, what are yes. some of those? Well, you know, take, I think one of the main things is take a look at um, your love life and see where it's messy. So are you dating someone who came on strong in the beginning but mm. cooled off fast once you were hooked? Are you dating somebody who is hypercritical of you? I call that person Ms. or Mr. You suck. You know, so that's someone who just slowly, slowly criticizes you so you don't really feel that you have the right to have any needs in the relationship. And so for a lot of people, it's coming out of denial about the situation that you're in and maybe taking notes about how your partner makes you feel and do they have any of these red flags. You can look at a lot of those red flags on my website. I do have a coaching website and, and there's a lot of articles there that can help you determine it. But I think the main thing about spring cleaning is also taking stock of yourself and saying, you know, what character traits do I have that are creating these toxic relationships? Why am I attracted to these types of people. So I always say the first thing you do, and, and I know people say self-love and it sounds so lame, like how do you love yourself, right? If you don't love yourself already, how do you do that? Well, the first thing I, I always suggest that women and men who are in unhealthy relationships actually forgive themselves. And there's a technique for that. When you're in the car and no one can hear you, you know, so it's not embarrassing, um, you can actually just say, I forgive you for being codependent. You mm. learned it when you were a kid, you know, or you caught it like you'd catch the flu, and now you get to recover from it. Very so good. I'm kind of going on and on. No, 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 no it's yeah. great information. Now, we have about 30 seconds Ooh, left. Gosh, so okay. I want to talk about yes. your, your book because sure. for people that, you know, that, that want to that, they want to buy it, yes. how can they do so? Just go to Amazon.com, type in, she dated the assets but married the good guy. It's in paperback and also in Kindle. Um, and that's the real simple way to get it. It'll and then come right you're also home. online, your website again? I am. I'm at ShannonCaleri.com. Uh, lots of great articles there. I do a lot of live videos as well. Thanks again for coming in from Los Angeles Thank you for here having to Fresno. Me. Yes. Let's give it up again for <laughs> Shannon Kaliri. Yeah. Lovely to be here. Thanks so much. Thanks Austin. again, love coach and author. You're watching my conversation. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have more in just a bit. Stick around.